After the pandemic hit, people could not get PPE. Nobody knew what they were really doing. A lot of people were calling us saying, hey, you were moving stuff around the world when we were trying to stop you. Can you help us out now? And who knows that system better than ex-drug traffickers? There was a real need, and we felt that we could help. We ended up bringing in over a million masks and PPEs the first time. They were going to go to healthcare workers, frontline workers, rescue workers, all the people that are risking their lives taking care of other people during this pandemic. They delivered the container to our hangar in Van Nuys, and that's when Lewis realized this is completely fraudulent. I've never seen anything that bad. These are blood-stained gloves with holes in them. The majority of the PPE business was fraud. These people are making money hurting Americans. This cannot be moved into the supply chain. So now we're stuck on a $3 million order for 14 containers, and it's all garbage. We got a serious fucking problem. The gloves were being shipped out of Thailand, so we got to go to Thailand. Trying to weed through an ocean of bullshit to get to an island of reality is very difficult. It's a culture of fraud over there. Fake paperwork, fake gloves, fake boxes. The scale of this operation is huge. These guys were Chinese organized crime. There was military generals involved. There was dirty cops involved. They're being paid off. And we're not in our own playground. Their factory was basically repacking on a large scale, spraying them, washing them, putting them in boxes and reboxing them, and sending them out in container loads and millions and millions of these gloves. They weren't surgical grade. They weren't medical grade. They were shit. I have personally had experience with terrorism. I was at ground zero, in the dirt, digging. I saw how it destroyed people's lives. And make no mistake, what they're doing is terror. The only difference is they're using shipping containers instead of planes to kill American people. This is state-sponsored medical terrorism. And if nobody wants to say it, I will. This is Thailand, it's very corrupt. Anything can happen, and it all went south. They threw everything that they could at this guy just to be able to arrest him. We have arrest warrant right now, we search remove. They used the media to influence the justice system in order to shake you down, pay so you can get the fuck out of here. The news come out, they declare Luis is not a victim, he's a fugitive. You don't see the whole story. They're only showing you what they want you to see. It's a formula. They had it down. And they used it against a lot of people until they ran into us. They were so sure that we were going to fall apart and pay anything, they never thought anybody would look them in the eye and say, fuck you, let's go to the box. You ever ran into a person that you did something right away, you know I shut the fuck with this guy? Well, they ran into a few of us. I promise the cop, at the end of this, you'll be the one in jail, not me. CNN got involved, Homeland Security got involved, all because it made enough noise that now they had to get involved. The people we depended on 20 years ago and depended on us came through for us again. <laughs> One of these days they're going to learn to stop betting against me.